Living Seed Media brings to you God's Word, which is His comprehensive equipment for changing lives. May the Lord impact your heart as you encounter His Word. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703 036369, 0703 768119. Email address lsmedia at or visit our website at www Let us sit back and listen as the servant of God brings forth the word of life. Now, in, in John chapter 2, in John chapter 2, at the wedding in Cana of Galilee, when Jesus was called into that marriage, the Bible said, when they wanted, when their wine finished, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus, being brought into that situation, was asking, woman, what have I to do with you? My hour is not yet come. But the mother knew that if any of us will do what God tells us to do, there will be results. So as we are concluding this meeting, what is the word that I felt we should say before you go? is John chapter 2 and verse 5. His mother says to the servants, whatsoever he says unto you, do what? Do it. do it. The great miracle took place because they did what he told them to do. If we also as we are rising from this meeting, we are doing what God has now revealed to us and shown us. I know the miracle that will begin in your families. He said, this will be the beginning of miracle. Where Jesus, you know, showed forth his glory. God will show forth his glory in our homes. As you go from this meeting, we charge you. All that the Lord has said to us and said to you particularly, do it. When God spoke to Mary, the mother of Jesus, she said, let it be unto me according to your word. She agreed with God and God went on to work. And as we will agree with God in this meeting as we are going, God who is the worker, who is the one who initiated this couple, you will see his glory breaking forth in your lives. Now, don't postpone or procrastinate your obedience. Procrastinated obedience is actually a disobedience. Delayed obedience is a disobedience. Until you have obeyed, you have not obeyed. And Jesus said, if you love me, you will do what I've told you to do. So our response to this meeting and what you do with these instructions that God had given to you and your wife will be the base of the adverse that we're expecting God to bring. I know God has answered our prayers. As you go from here, you will see the hand of God going ahead of you. We said that as we were studying, as we were studying, God was showing us. We said our obedience to the word of God is not because your husband has obeyed or your wife has obeyed. It is that God is opening your eyes to see that this is the bone of my bones. Do what God has told you to do. 
and watch what God will do as God will have also walked even in your spouse and we will have testimonies. We send you forth in the name of the Lord. We are trusting that the hand of God will go with you. His face will shine upon you. Every issue that has to do with you has now come on Baba's table. The Lord will attend to you. He will perfect what concerns each one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. So unto all of you, wherever you have come from, in all the different nations, we commend you to the grace of God. The word of God is able to give you an inheritance among those that have been sanctified is what God has sent to us. And God will use his word to bless you. So we send you forth in obedience to the word of God. The Lord will go with you. Uh, I know the Liberians, what they have been crying about. They are saying this thing that God is doing now. We wish it was done many years ago because marriage has been a mess in our country. Never you worry. This is the couple that God has ordained and intends to bring a change. So go ahead and live the life. Be obedient. In a very short while, you will see a divine visitation in your nations, all the nations where we are representing. But this is just a beginning of what we are expecting God to do. The feast of fat things that God is declaring, uh, there's nothing that can stop what God wants to do. We believe that God Almighty will go with us and he will make his face to shine upon each one of you. So I will request you to please stand on your feet as we bring this meeting to a conclusion in the presence of God and we commend you to the grace of the Lord that the Lord Almighty will go with you. He will perfect what concerns you and will cause his face to shine upon you. Please rise wherever you are and let us say to God, to God be the glory. Great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son. O ye, that this life and atonement for sin. That like gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people Let rejoice. The people rejoice. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come, come, come to the Father through Jesus, the Son, and give him the glory, great things. He has done. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son. And give him the glory, great things he has done. Father, in honor to your name and in adoration to you who did all things well. Together, O oh God, as couples and as your people from location to location. We stand to give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all adoration for you are worthy to receive it all. We thank you for the space you created for us, the provision you made for your people to come, the way you dealt with all obstacles until we are able to come together as husband and wives. God, we thank you. Now time has come for your people to go. We want to release them with your grace. Let your grace go with them. Let your eye, O oh God, be upon them. 
Let your countenance rest upon them family by family. Lord, you have done something with us because you intend to use us. We now ask, Lord, that what you have begun in our lives, the Bible says, faithful is God who has begun a good work in you, he will also accomplish it. Lord, we ask that you will continue to do what you are doing. You will accomplish what you have started. And with unveiled faces, you continue to show us the glory of the Lord, even in the word of God, that we'll be transformed from one degree of glory, from one level of splendor to another, as we become conformed to your image. Our marriages will continue to showcase what you are doing between Christ and his church. And that, Lord, because we are members of your body, members of your flesh, members of your bone, and for this reason, we will cleave to one another. Please help us, O oh God, that everywhere we go, your purpose for establishing marriage and establishing our own matrimony, let it come to pass. So unto you, O Lord, who is able to keep, unto you is able to preserve, until you is able to perfect, we commit these men and women, these husbands and wives, that Lord, in going, you go with them. In watching, you watch over them. In perfecting, you perfect all that concerns them. And all that you have ordained concerning each one of them will come to them. Thou, O oh God, whose resources is inexhaustible, from the store of grace, you will release grace upon grace upon each one, O oh God, and all that they will ever need to work with you shall never be lacking. Thank you, Lord, that you are able. And Paul said, I know whom I believed, and I know he's able to keep what I have committed to his hands. Unto your hand we commit our brothers and sisters. Unto your hand we commit these couples that, O oh God, you will perfect what you have started with them. Thank you for hearing our prayer. And that from here, oh God, let there be an outburst, an outburst of divine presence, breaking forth from their homes, from their bedrooms, praise will be rising unto heaven. And out of their own altar, oh God, there will be greater release of the grace and divine provision all over the earth. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for you do much more than we could ask or imagine. There are some nations that only few of them were able to gather. We ask, Lord, that in blessing you bless and give increase to that, that that nation will not remain the same again, and all the families around them will not remain the same again. Thank you. Thank you for hearing us. Now, together, please join your hands. Together, and with other couples around you, please join hands together now, and let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And before you now break the hands, we are heirs of the Father. We are joined as with the Son. We are children of the kingdom. We are family. We are one. One more time. We are heirs of the Father. We are joined heirs with the Son. We are children. Of the kingdom, we are family, we are one.